Evening all. Um, well, it finally had to happen, I suppose. Um, but last Monday, um, I received my first Doctor Who release, The Reign of Terror, from Amazon um, through the post. Um, in other words, I didn't go in to HMV first thing on Monday morning and pick it up before work. And it's the first Doctor Who DVD, and I've, I've been collecting the whole lot because, um, as some of you all know, I'm a, um, a big fan of the classic series. It's the first Doctor Who DVD I've not bought on the day of release from a shop physically. Now, I, I'm a bit of a hypocrite. I have used the internet, I have used Amazon and Play.com to find things. Um, so, in many ways, I'm one of the people that's probably contributed to HMV's problems. But um, one thing I always did is um, try to pick up new releases that I knew they would have, like the Doctor Who ones, um, from the physical shop. And I do think that um, the problems of HMV and the fact that we could, could end up losing HMV from the high street um, is a real shame. Um, but it's not just um, my loyalty to that particular brand. It's, it's the fact that they've all gone. You know, the, the big record shops, the big video shops, they've all gone. Um, and really, um, this is just the, 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 the final phase of that process where everything moves to online retailing uh, that's to do with music or, or DVD stroke video. Why do I think it's, it's a shame? Well, um, one of the reasons is that I, I, I have spent in my life probably hours and hours, if you add it all up it will stretch to weeks, uh, just browsing through record shops. Um, and um, when I was younger it was one of my favourite things to do whenever I went into town. I can still remember um, getting some of you know, the most important records in my life. Um, and the you know the, the the process of the day I actually well the process of actually going into the shop on the day um, that I buy them um, you know I can still remember when I was very young going and getting singles by Gary Newman and Depeche Mode and the Boomtown Rats and so on uh, you know the first records I ever went and physically bought um, I. Uh, in many ways, one of the joys of going into a physical record shop um, is is that you you know you, through browsing, you could discover artists that you wouldn't really have thought of before. You you had no intention of buying anything from when you walked into the shop, but you know just through flicking through the records or flicking later on through the CDs, you might pick up something. You think, well, why don't I give that a try? Why don't I try that artist? You know, it's you know, it's in the special offer. I'm not losing much. I'll try this this artist, and then you you suddenly discover that you've found um, an artist that that you really love, and you just wonder why you've never discovered them before. And partly that to me is one of the joys of going to a shop: the actual browsing, the actual fact that you could come out there having bought stuff that you never went into buy in the first place, and. I mean, it seems to me a real shame that with everything moving to Amazon and online um, retailers, you'll basically go on there, you'll find what you're looking for, you'll click and buy it, but, um, you know, will you discover new stuff so easily? Will you kind of buy something you were never intending to buy before so easily? Um, and that to me is one thing. Um, another thing is just that the the... the, the you know, what would someone like me do um, on a day out in town, apart from go and have a coffee or something to eat? Um, I've not, I've no real interest in browsing through clothes shops, never have had. Um, there aren't many shops that particularly interest me. If I ever went into town or city centre, I always go straight for the record shops. Um, and, um, you know, I've spent hours and hours in them. Um, and now that's gone. And I think, you know, there'll be a lot of people of my kind of age group who feel the same. But then, in terms of, you know, younger people who just download their music, um, well, again, I mean, the problem with, with the rise of downloading is 
you're missing out on so much. I mean, how many um, kids today actually are prepared to sit through and listen to a whole album? I mean, you could argue that went with the CD, but at least you've got to buy the CD, even if you can skip through tracks. But if you're just downloading signal, singles, um, you know, where's the actual um, um, need to sit through and listen to a whole album? And so, um, in many ways, it's just part of the process of making everything so easy to just get to the one track you like that you'll never discover the more challenging tracks. I mean, um, my fear is that, you know, if you take, um, you know, a, a, a classic album, you know, like The Smiths, The Queen is Dead, would um, today kids bother listening or discovering the really long and I would argue, you know, better tracks on the album, like I Know It's Over or the title track, when they can just download the three singles and that's it. Um, so that to me is, is, is a worry that the whole kind of rise of downloading that, 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 that's part of all this then of course you've got the, the issue of well what do you know older people do who um, haven't got internet access where do they get their music from well it's going to be for those sorts of people you know the, the generations older than me you know 60 plus or whatever well they're finished, I would imagine. They either have to just get their grandchildren to order it online or just don't buy music. Um, but, I mean, to me it is a real shame that um, you can't uh, just go onto the high street anymore and just sort of have a nice hour or so just browsing through the record shops, browsing through the DVDs. Um, and it's just part of the decline of the high street, I suppose. Um, I have contributed it to it myself. I have gone on to Amazon to find rarer things and more niche things because it's easier. And that's helped to destroy the smaller um, record shops and the like. So I'm perfectly willing to hold my hand up and say that I'm a hypocrite. But, um, you know, I still think it's, it's a real shame. And um, it's just one of these things, you know, especially as regards music, you know, that um, is probably going to disappear and be gone forever. And, um, you know, that's life, I suppose. Things move on, but it's a real shame. Anyway, thanks for listening.